Here's why you shouldn't buy an SSD that seems too good to be true. Recently, Walmart's been selling a 30 terabyte SSD for $39, which was shockingly just a gigantic scam. The SSD's insides revealed just a few cheap micro SD cards with hacked firmware so that they would report a much higher capacity than what was actually available. These scams have been around for many years and you can spot them on AliExpress all the time. Basically, when you run out of the small capacity that's actually Actually available, the drives will just keep overriding data, resulting in just a bunch of corrupted data. So remember, if you spot a storage device from an unknown brand that seems too good of a deal to be true, it very likely is. So like I said, these scams are very common on places like AliExpress and eBay. Uh, this is just a little bit of a bigger deal, a bigger story, because Walmart, you know, a bigger, you know, more well-regarded brand uh, was caught basically selling these drives. So this is how they look like. And by the way, I have spotted these on AliExpress the past couple of weeks, so these are extremely common. Uh, so this is the package it comes packaging. It comes in, you know, 30 terabytes and just like the most generic packaging. Like this really reminds me of the old days when you would buy just some like rip-off iPod MP3 or something like that. You know, it would come in a very similar sort of very cheap packaging. And this is super funny. So this is how the drive <laughs> actually looks like when you open it up. So this is just a little board with two micro SD cards. Now this is very common because it's also very easy to do. Basically, you can just, I actually have no idea why there's two drives in here. I don't know why the need, they had the need to do this. Uh, ba basically, uh, both of these have, have like hacked firmware that shows like that each one of these micro SD cards uh, is capable of holding 15 terabytes of data. I don't know why not just one micro SD card and just hack the firmware to show 40 terabytes. I have no idea why they've done it this way, but basically this has been around for a very long time because all you really have to do is just get some software, you know, just a tool with which you can actually rewrite the firmware of these devices. You know, you can do it with a hard drive, SSD, micro SD card. You can pretty much do it with anything. So, you know, in this case, I don't know exactly what the, capa the capacity of these micro SD cards is, but basically let's say they hold eight gigabytes. They actually have eight gigabytes of storage. I could just, for instance, plug one of these into my PC, get some software uh, that allows you to add the actual firmware. And I could just type in, uh, you know what, this eight gigabyte micro SD card, it's actually a 30 terabyte micro SD card. You know, it's, it's very simple to do. And basically, uh, what they also do is uh, after that, for when somebody would actually be using the drive, and let's say somebody is transferring a 10 gigabyte file onto this 8 gigabyte micro SD card that just shows as a 30 terabyte one, when it would actually reach its ma max capacity, it would just start rewriting data uh, back at the start. Uh, you know, so users this way also can't really uh, figure out. Uh, that it's a scam so soon because basically the transfer of the big data file would finish and you would just have a corrupted file so you'd just be like oh my pc must have messed up or maybe you're storing a lot of like smaller files on this drive let's say you're storing a bunch of like pdfs powerpoints uh whatever just a ton of like little junk you know by the time you actually cross that eight gigabyte barrier you know some of those files might be very old, so they start getting corrupted, they start getting deleted, you know, you might not even notice. So this just sort of helps, you know, delay uh, the amount of time that the customer needs to figure out that there's something wrong so that, you know, they can actually get the money uh, from, you know, the product that they've sold and basically just run away. So these scams have been very common. Uh, they've been very common on USB drives, on SSDs like this one. Uh, this is particularly weird. It just has micro SD cards in here. Uh, a lot of these won't do that. They'll just take like a very cheap like 60 gigabyte SSD and they'll just update the firmware to like uh, it's four terabytes, you know. Uh, so this one's actually even cheaper because this type of flash storage is even cheaper. So uh, this is just something that you got to watch out for, you know, even a brand like Walmart that supposedly, you know, checks uh, the products that they sell, although this was with a third party seller, so I don't know exactly how that was uh, worked out. Uh, but yeah, these are extremely common, you know, and I mean, 
you sh really should not be buying these sort of unbranded SSDs either, because even if it's not a scam, it's probably using some cheap controller, it's, it's probably using some cheap uh, uh, NAND flash, so, you know, the, re the reliability uh, would certainly be questionable. So, you know, uh, stay away from these drives that just don't have any sort of a brand image behind them, and, you know, also from places that sell these things that might not be very highly regarded. You know, I'd be a lot more comfortable buying this on Amazon, for example. You know, I kind of trust them more to sort of verify uh, their products. And even if, you know, something goes wrong, if the product is not as described, I trust Amazon to give me my money back and so forth. You know, so you want to be careful buying from random places on the Internet these random drives, basically, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, th this is not so common anymore, but, uh, you know, they used to just copy Samsung drives, for example, and they would just be like, yeah, this is a Samsung or micro SD cards were even more common. You would spot tons of like Samsung micro SD cards that weren't actually Samsung SD cards. So yeah, be very careful because corrupted data is very not fun.